here he is. Here he, he's back. He's back. He's got motorbikes. All right, let's fire this puppy up. Fire it up, baby. Broom, fucking broom. Hey, <laughs> first shit, <laughs> says Misty, coming in second. This is Ride 2, a game by Milestone, which I have streamed once before, which I fucking love. Alright, let's take a look at what bikes I've got, because I keep on mistaking the PlayStation 4 version for my PC version, and I can't remember what I own and what I don't own. Right, so I only own this one bike thus far. Deranged Rat, hello! Mikey Corders, welcome! X Slasher, welcome! Gemma, hello! Welcome back, thank you for joining me! Happy days, hello! Now this game, I think, is a lot louder than the last game I played. It has been a long time, X Slasher. I hope you are very well indeed. You just missed, by a minute, uh, my Resident Evil 7 playthrough. Ultra, welcome back, mate! I love motorbike games. This is phenomenal, by the way, uh, Joe mate. Um, I've got 10,000 credits you can see just there next to my finger. Um, I need about 20 to get another bike that I'd like so let's just go and do a quick race and uh, we'll win something. Uh, in fact what's all this shite? Anna Morrison. Hello. Uh, finish fifth place in a quick race. All right. Oh, I looked at the specs for the PC version. It made my laptop cry. Oh, mate. PC version runs like a fucking dream on my machine, and it looks so much nicer than this. This looks incredible. PC version. I know there's ladies here, but I, I just I'm, I'm gonna say it. The PC version looks wanktastic. Is this game good? Yes, it is ultra. If you like um, motorbike games, if you like racing games, this is good. There's 176 bikes without any of the DLC, so, um, oh, incredible. Right, uh, oh look, I've opened up Rookie. I can't remember what I'm doing. How long is this? 4,000... Uh, 4.8 kilometers. I've got to try and distance myself from um, the PC version right now. Right, come on. Let's just have a race. If I badly lose, it's because uh, the bike is not quite right yet. Hello, Harry. Welcome. How are you? This is um, this bike here is the first bike I had in the PlayStation 4 version, right? Um, on the PC version, I've got a garage of about five or six bikes so far. Um, PlayStation 4 version, I haven't touched as much. Right, so let's just check my options to line them up. Right, we're going to stick with easy for the time being, and then I shall slowly start turning things off right okay let's do this my name is Stravako because I'm Bulgarian okay I don't know what that means mate so uh you know us English boys we're not very uh not very educated. Right, I know this circuit, but my bike is not powerful enough to, uh, in this league, I'm afraid. I'm not going to be able to win this race. In fact, they are absolutely <laughs> whooping me. Look at this. That's full speed, and I'm tucked in. Fucking hell. Yeah, my bike isn't made for this lot. Although I can corner quicker than them. 
I can also kill myself. I'm going to end this race and I'm going to um, I'm going to do a quick race and that will match me um, with AI of uh, similar capabilities. And then I'll get some money and then I'll buy a new bike. Hello, Barthik. I hope that's how you should, uh, say your name. Jamie, F1 2016 or Ride 2? Oh, don't do this to me. Um, F1 2016. Because I'm a massive Formula 1 fan, uh, I was going to grab something as proof like that. My Lewis Hamilton team cap uh, from this year. Um, oh, that's not very nice, Ultra. Um, right, I'm on my laptop now, so I'll be able to win the first next time. <laughs> How are the driving physics in this? Very good, Kingpin. You've got um, your front brake, your back brake, your lean, your tuck in. Uh, everything feels nice. Ban Hammer has been swung. Boy! We ain't got time for trolls. I know it's Saturday and all the trolls tend to come out on a Sunday, but um, nonetheless, good on you, Malk. Right, so we've got the Nürburgring times two. We've got the uh, GP circuit or the big boy. You've got Ulster Grand Prix. Now, I wouldn't advise anyone pick this track. It is, um, I think, a seven minute lap and you've got three of them. So uh, that equates to a 21 minute race. You've got Island North West 200. Uh, I don't know. There's two tracks in there. Not really too sure. Got Macau. Monza. Uh, there's a few circuits. But what I'm going to do is... Greece. That's alright. Let's do... Milano. Hmm? Let's do a full Milan circuit. Right, that should do. Okay, so hopefully this will pit me against <laughs> bikes of a similar um, similar power, because otherwise it's just not going to be any fun, is it, really? I've just noticed as well, the YouTube has tagged this as Ride 2, and it's put a very strange box art underneath it. Hello, Matthew. How are you? Right, let's do this. Let's see some rain action. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll do it on the very next race. Unless... Yeah, I'll do it on the next race. I'll bang the rain on. Uh... Let's go. I just want to get, like, an extra four or five grand and then buy a new bike. I see you have changed your setup. No, I haven't. I really haven't. I've just... Oh, fuck. I'm not paying attention. I've just tucked my green screen behind my futon because it was fucking me off. I... Basically, I unfold... It's one of them spring into a, a circle so you can pack it away type green screens. Um, I unfurled it. Unfolded it about two months ago. And since that point... I've tried about eight or nine times to re uh, reclose it. I can't. I don't fucking know how to. It's practically impossible. It's basically the Rubik's Cube of green screens. It's uh, pure bafflement. So there are plenty of camera modes in, in this game. Uh, you'll find the one that most people are using is the third person uh, camera because Playing this in first person is extremely fucking difficult. Even more difficult than uh, just a motorbike game on its own is. Which is actually very fucking difficult because you've got to control things like that. Now I could rewind there but I'm not going to. I've got three laps so I'm willing to take, take my punishment like a man. This is weird because I've done a few races on this circuit, but not the full GP track, and it's changed somewhat. Um, I've done the ideal trajectory mode on, on this circuit, and I've absolutely fucking nailed it. So, um, I thought it was going to be the same, but it appears not to be. 
Please try first person. All right, go on then, Misty, just for you. Here we go. Very frightened. Gonna fall off. And I will be using the rewind functionality. Fuck! Oh, he's nailed it. Go on, get out of my way, you fuck. Right, keep your eye on the left-hand side of the screen because that's where the map is. Jamie, you fucking idiot. <clears throat> oh my Christ, this is fucking horrible. This would be awesome with a VR headset. I'm telling you right now, you would get no fucking bigger thrill. This is so insanely fast. There is also helmet cam. Um, no, turned far too late round there. I can't judge my corners in first person. Seventh, it's not bad, I fell off, so. See, I always come into that bridge from a 90 degree right hand turn. So they really have changed the circuit for this this mode. Oh my god, this is Brett! Hello mate! Oh, by the way, Brett, the other day I tried the um uh the Northern Ireland race that you said about. It is the longest fucking thing on this planet. A seven minute lap time or thereabouts. 21 minute race phenomenal right so I'm two seconds up on my last lap yeah it's weird because the mechanics of the of the bike in compar in comparison to a car racing game are so different that it feels kind of it's hard to explain but when you're riding in first person it feels kind of spongy springy it kind of feels like my bike might be attached to a giant slinky. I'm sure that's making absolute fucking sense to everybody. Right, 90 degree up. Uh, hold it together. Good man, good man. Right, I'll show you the helmet cam now. Fully restrictive viewpoint. I think you'll find muffled sounds for the engine. Um... Yes, Ian. Welcome, mate. How are you? Have you been playing all of the new juicy racing games that have come out of late? Mr. Ian, do let me know. Have you got WRC 6? Have you got Ride 2? And if so, how are you finding them? Also, are you playing Forza 3? I would love to be playing uh, Forza Horizon 3, but I, uh, I don't know anyone who digitally bought it on Xbox. Uh, and uh, therefore would allow me to steal their PC code. And I'm far too tight to pay £50 for a PC game. Ian, legend, says Malk. Yes, he really is. Okay, so I seem to be doing okay in first person. Or, or uh, helmet cam. So you have got other modes as well which are full screen or wheel cam I'll call it in a motorbike racing game fuck there's the wall um, the camera I most like which unfortunately isn't available while you race it's only available in the um, in the replay is the action cam and that's like a body mounted or helmet mounted um, GoPro camera and it is fucking gorgeous I, um, I uploaded a video um, on our channel of this circuit um, with the action cam and it looks the bee's knees. All right, let's change camera. There you go. There's the wheel cam. Drive Club VR all day today. Good man. Does it make Drive Club any better? Because uh, Drive Club is a bit pony. How are you finding it? Are you finding the resolution sharp enough? Um, anything you'd like to see changed? dead oh no he's managed to stick it somehow 
not paying 50 quid for Forza. There you go, exactly. I know it looks like a phenomenal game. Everyone who's played it says it's a phenomenal game. I'm not shelling out 50 quid for it, though. Especially as there's bound to be some free copies knocking around. There we go. I've got Forza, says Gemma. I've heard Drive Club is puke-inducing, says Mark. Um, Chris, welcome, mate. Right, let's have a quick flick and see what you guys are saying. Um... So, Northwest 201, awesome stuff. Shall point out my house next time you play it. Your house is on that circuit. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, like a spongy suspension. No, like spongy turning. Spongy turning, not spongy suspension. Um, it, it just feels like you turn one way and you're kind of being pulled back. It's, it's just weird to explain. As a non-driver myself in real life, uh, I, I find these these terminologies different um, Misty says I don't think Forza will be much different from the second one uh, different HUD colours and more weather um, do, do, do. Drive Club is okay with the wheel I've also heard it makes people sick on VR but I'm still going to try it um, the games are all so much fun on PSVR says Ian it's cup of tea time never get motion sick hi Jamie hello Alan you good mate I hope so. Right, so I just earned 400 credits for that shitty race because I finished sixth. But you keep on racing and eventually you'll be able to buy a more powerful bike. Now, let's see if I have got enough money for anything right now. Indeed it is, mate. Although it looks uh, like a bloody mansion on the game. Makes me think what I could have achieved if I only <laughs> work a bit harder. Doing fine? Good man, good man. Right, let's... um. I tell you what, what we'll do is we will play now uh, the Northern Ireland track, uh, but I'm going to try and buy another bike. Forza Horizon 3 is set in Australia. Haven't come, uh, got it yet. Can't comment on the gameplay. Says uh, Deranged Rat. I, I just, I, I will eventually end up buying it or something. I'm just, not at the moment, not for that price. Right. Uh, my bikes. I've got 11,200 credits. Dealership. Right, so we can afford a few things. Uh, if I sort, what we'll do, we'll sort my price. So I can afford this Yamaha TR, uh, TZR125R or this RS125R. In fact, we can afford quite a lot of things all the way up to <gasps> oh I've got a hiccup right there's one of the DLC bikes right I can afford all the way up to here okay so let's take a look sports bike Yamaha TZR 250 Yamaha oh that's quite nice uh, XJR uh, Honda NSR 250R that's quite nice. Bit of a beast. Jamie, did you hear yesterday that Nico Hulkenberg is joining Renault? No, I didn't. Yeah. Nico Hulkenberg. Oh, I don't know. He's he's never going to amount to anything, in my opinion. Oh, that KTM is very nice. Look at that. Bit of a beast. Uh, Suzuki GSX R750. Um, RG500. Look how classic that is. That's proper 80 styled. Um... Yamaha XJR 1300 that is uh, the same style of bike I currently have quite nice though um, I don't really know what to buy I've got that on the PC version and it's actually okay so who will be his teammate next season no idea no idea do you know what for the first time in four seasons I actually missed a race last Sunday I just couldn't be fucked with it um, is this more sim or arcade racing? More arcade racing, I'd say, um, Ian. Um, I, you control... Uh, you, you've got a lot of bike upgrades. Suspension, brake wires, uh, brake discs, tyres, um, wheel rims. Uh, I mean, there's a whole load of mods and whatnot, but it is more arcades. Yeah, you get to control the front brake, the back brake. You get to adjust your suspension and adjust the load... Uh, bias and everything like that but it, it just feels more arcadey than anything um, 
but 176 bikes straight out the uh, out of the bag, as it were. I don't know what bike to buy. Um, let's go with something that's going to sound a bit different. I want something with a bit more power as well. I might go for that. Yamaha XS uh, R700. Find a World War II buddy bike, or whatever they're called. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford one of those. Uh, Luke's back. I might get that. That's quite nice and powerful. That doesn't leave me a lot of room. Oh, fuck it. Only 176 bikes. You need more. People are cool. Oh, look. I'm going to have the black one. People are calling this the um, the Gran Turismo of bikes. Luke Ultra ended up uh, banned in the end. Turns out he's a dick. <laughs> there you go. And it isn't even Sunday. Congratulations on your purchase. Would you like to set this as your favourite bike? Yes. Now, all the bikes do feel very different, by the way. Um... On the PC version, I recently got my first superbike. Um, something like some 1200cc monster. And it was a bit of a shock to say the least. Right, let's go and test this puppy out. And what we're going to do, we're going to do a so-called quick race. And we're going to do it on a rainy circuit in Northern Ireland. International Northwest 200 in the rain. Now, this is going to be very different. New bike, rain, fucking long circuit. It's alright. It's alright, guys. Got a baseball bat, it's fine. Thank you very much for the thumbs ups, any of you who have. It's very kind of you. God, that bike looks hot. Yes, it does. Basically, all of my bike decisions uh, for purchasing on PlayStation 4 and on the PC version of Ride 2 have all been based on what they look like. Because uh, I, I have no fucking idea when it comes to motorbikes. Right. Let's try and not finish last in this brand new bike on this 21 minute circuit. <laughs> it's, it's quite good though because there's a lot of fucking straights on this. Uh, excuse my language. There's a lot of straights on this. Oh, oh, listen to her. You can change your rider's outfit and things like this as well. Milestone have done a bang-up job with this game. And I haven't got any of the track assist guides on. I've only ever played this circuit once, so I'm going to be using my fellow riders as uh, my track markers, uh, essentially. Bit of a camp drum and bass in the background. I say camp drum and bass because it's not very hard. It's very generic. I'd call that a uh, cheesy pop drum and bass. Fucking hell. Right, let's get a rewind on the go. I did actually press my brake a long time ago. You see it pop on there. So let's... Right, that was my first time having to brake with my new vehicle. Davis in front of me. Odd, right? That music is actually thoroughly shit. Fuck! Roundabout! <laughs> oh, there's just no chance. Right, we're going to have to brake around here, I think. Right, mate, you go in front, and I'll hit this roundabout after you. There you go. Nicely done. Let's slap that back brake for a second. Now, the back brake, for those of you who haven't played a motorbike game before, the back brake, essentially, you control brakes uh, for your two wheels independently of one another. You can set it so they, um, they brake at the same time, but essentially, um, the back brake acts as what... Hello? The back, 
back brake essentially is your hand brake for those of you more familiar with uh, car driving games. Uh, so the back brake for very sharp. What are you doing? Fucking mug. Um, for more sharper turns, but it unstabilizes your bike when you tap that back brake. So generally, you want to use your front brake to guide your bike to a nice slow uh, stop. Look at this geezer with his jeans on and everything. Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where the. I don't know where I'm going to have to slap the brakes. Check this geezer. He's flying up. I'm Hank Marvin over here, says uh, Joe. I am as well, mate. My missus is bringing dinner back and I've got no idea what she's going to buy. Right, so the... No. Naughty. So the... Um... I don't know what I was going to say. I'm willing to let places go here so I can nail this corner. Oh! Oh! He's back on the acceleration. I've just been chippy. What'd you get from the chippy, mate? Sausage and batter? Bread roll? Uh, chips? Gravy? Right. Didn't actually touch my rear brake there. That was all done with the front brake. And you do control as well your lean. So at the moment, wind resistance is at a maximum. If I hold the triangle button, I duck into my bike, thus creating less wind resistance. Large sausage, chips and gravy. So I basically called your dinner just then. Was beaut. Love a battered saveloy. Don't think I've ever had a battered saveloy. Um, battered sausage, that's my go-to at the chip here. Fuck! Fuck! Where'd you come from? Right, I didn't see that chicane. So... See, if you have a look on the mini-map, I couldn't really see it because there's too many other players. Fuck's sake, Jamie. Come on, get a grip. Get a grip. Right. Helps if you... <laughs> Helps if you turn early, I was going to say. Right, not that fucking early. Okay, so the rewind mechanic, I discussed this in my last stream. It's really something I'm not a massive fan of. I, I really dislike it, because if it's there, I use it. And, uh, ouch. <laughs> ouch indeed. I, I, I really hate it. Um... Hang on, hang on, wait, 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 hang on, hang on. There's some stuff going on in the chat that I'm missing. Um, there are some parts of the track that aren't entirely accurate, but I'm just buzzing that it's in the game. My gaff is on the road when you go past the second petrol station on the right-hand side. Okay, I don't know if we've driven past it, but I shall have a look. Um, just been chippy, love chips. Um, he, yeah, Jamie... Scratchy's new tune is Wank. I don't know who Scratchy is. Scratchy? Must be a younger generation than me. Yeah, that stupid chicane never used to be there. Um, used to keep going straight, but too many accidents. Few deaths, unfortunately. Oh, fuck. Really? So, in terms of the road layout, Brett, is it fully accurate? I mean, because you live round here... Do, can you just fly around this circuit knowing full well what's coming up? Like, for me, this is all new territory to me. Is Ride 2 worth getting? It's worth getting if you're into A, racing games, B, motorbikes. Um, there's another chicane. Oh, come on, man. I slowed down. The rain is giving me a absolute battering. All right. Jammed on both brakes this time round there like a fucking mobility scooter. Um, I I am really adoring it. I really am. I'm not playing it on the PlayStation 4 that much. I'm playing it more on the PC because it looks nicer on the PC. Also, Steam trading cards. Money back for your purchases. That's all I'm saying. I'm getting my bank balance up. 
in uh, in steam. I'm looking out for petrol stations. Fuck! I'm looking out for petrol stations, but I wasn't looking out for curbs. Oh, roll deep, MC. Scratchy, is he the white guy with the um with the man bun? If he is, um, the one who, yeah, I, I think I know the geezer, and uh, if so, he's, I'm not really, yeah, I like Roll Deep's first album, um, some very, very big tunes on there, but not really a fan overall, all about Wiley's album dropping next week. Looked up Scratchy and Roll Deep. Good times. Good times is the nuts, man. Um, celebrate. What a fucking track. Uh, shake a Leg. One of the greatest tracks of all time. Come on, shake a leg with me. So... <laughs> right, there's a 90 degree coming up. I'm breaking early already. Oh, it's not even a fucking turn. Car park. Luke, get Spotify. You can then take your music library with you wherever you go. I'll say that in English now. Wherever you go. I'm so nervous of this track now. Look at this, man. This is gorgeous. They've gone a bit minimal with some of the game... Some of the game assets. Um, I.e. the texture of the pavements here. Let me know, Brett. Is the pavement outside your house smooth enough to eat off? Oh, fuck off. Look how smooth that is. And shiny. So, you live on the coast, do you, Brett? Look at that. Looking out of your window, do you see the sea? Right, that's one lap. How long did it take? 6 minutes 19. Right, so we're looking out for... We're looking out for a petrol station. We're playing Where's Brett in this game, because Brett's house is in this game. Uh, petrol station, petrol station, petrol station. Do the bikes come with... Hang on, I'll read that in a second. Um, optional stabilizers. Uh, yes. Not for me. Who asked to see fucking rain? You absolute asshole. On the coast, yeah, uh, really take it for granted. Obviously, yeah, you would. It's like any Londoner, we take London for granted. All of my um, ex-colleagues, right, all uh, Europeans, and, like, you ask them what they're doing at the weekend, and they're doing all these amazing things in London. They're like, oh, so uh, how do you rate the shard? Have you eaten in the restaurant up there? I'm like, no. Oh, right, okay. Um... Oh, I'm going to the London Eye this weekend. Right, here's a petrol station. Is that your house, Brett? Just there, the beige one. Um, I, I'm going to this thing. The, like, all of the people I worked with all do amazing things around London. Me, Londoner, don't do fuck all. I think the first time I went to the London Dungeons was about a year ago. Um, London Zoo, haven't done that in about... I estimate about seven years. I haven't been to London Zoo. Um, Theatre, never bother. I, I, I went to see... I went to the South Bank Centre or something the other day and saw um, the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra um, doing a live score of uh, Space Odyssey... 2001 of Space Odyssey while the film played. That was shit. That film is massively overrated. Stanley Kubrick, massively overrated, apart from Full Metal Jacket, one of the greatest films of all time. I'm so nervous that there's going to be a turn that just jumps up out of... Yeah, here it comes. I'm just fucking rolling around this corner. Right, let me uh, catch up with the chat in just a second. Every time I go to London, I get lost, says Misty. It's not worth coming here, mate. It's a shithole. Like, we are the rudest place in the world. Londoners... Well, we're not rude. If you leave us alone, we are not rude. If you follow the rules of London, we're perfectly polite to you. 
like stand on the correct side of the fucking escalator. Don't fucking dawdle on the pavement. Um, keep to one side um, of walkways and stuff if you're going to be a slow fuckface. Uh, don't stand and obstruct fucking doors, you twat. If you do, I am within my full right to drop a shoulder, lock it in place, and walk through you, thus putting your ass on the fucking platform. I am, of course, talking about standing to one side when the tube doors open. These are some of London's most basic rules. Follow these rules and we will get along. Do not talk to strangers on the fucking tube. Do not make eye contact when you're on the tube either. It's weird. Don't fucking do it. If moving to London, you will never ask your neighbour for their telephone number or will you ever say hello to them? I have lived in this place for six, seven years now. I don't know any of my neighbours. These are rules to live by in London. Let's have a look behind me. Yeah. Chicane! Shit! I started breaking about fucking three hours ago. Still didn't work. Buy this on Steam now. Only 25 quid on the tyre store. It's honestly, it's amazing on Steam, Ian. Um, sorry, on Steam, on PC. It's absolutely amazing. It's much better than the PlayStation version. Also, as you know, uh, streaming racing games, never a good idea. You can never do them. Uh, you can never do them justice. Jamie's rant so true. Mate, I've been a Londoner for my entire life, you know. Just, if you follow the rules, if you follow the rules, London can be perfect. Just don't fucking speak to anyone. Don't annoy anyone. You'll be alright. No one will give a shit. Right, here we go. Right tea coming up. Ever been to that church, Brett? Just checking. I'll read all your comments in just a mo, guys. Let me know of your experiences in London. Also, we will hold doors open for you and whatnot. We're not complete pricks. Um, but if I hold a door open for you and you walk through that door and don't fucking say thank you, I will give you all of about half a second to say thank you. If you don't say thank you, I will call you out for it. I really will call you out for it because you're an arrogant fucking prick with a sense of self-importance. Anyone who has a, an unjustified sense of self-importance will get called out in London as well. Also, queues. Queuing. Don't ever fucking jump a queue in London. Fuck me. We will absolutely slaughter you for that shit. A queue is something to live or die by over here. You will see a chain of perfectly formed human beings waiting for a bus. Never try and get on that bus in front of someone who was there before you. Ain't the thing. Ain't the one, man. Shops as well. Fucking hell. I'll tell you the one, one thing that's very funny. As a Londoner, with all of these rules and whatnot I just spoke of, um, one thing that shocked the life out of me was when I went to Hong Kong a few years ago. And I went up to um, the peak uh, there. Peak Victoria. Uh, Victoria Peak, I think it's called. And... The Chinese people there, they... I'm not going to say they're rude. They're not rude at all. They, they just have different cultural expectations to what um, other people have. For example, me as a Londoner with those cultural expectations that I have just listed. Those rules with the Chinese at Peak Victoria, something new for me, right? I'd patiently been waiting for my spot to be at the front of this amazing, one of the most beautiful viewpoints on this planet. I'd been patiently waiting for ages, loads of people. Soon as a gap opened in, in people, I politely 
press my way into the gap without touching anybody, you know, without encroaching on anyone's personal space. That is another rule to die by on the London Underground. Never get up in someone's face. Don't touch anyone. Anyway, Peak Victoria. Managed to get, get my place nicely. I'm standing there um, with my colleague who I was out in Hong Kong with. And we're looking at this amazing view, taking a couple of pictures. When hands were placed on my person and I was forcibly pushed out of the way while somebody stood in my spot and took a picture of them and their entire fucking family who had rushed into the place that I was pushed into, thus pushing me further from the point that I had patiently waited for. All right. The whole queuing and, uh, you know, first come, first serve um, scenario did not exist in Hong Kong. Just saying. And I couldn't, there was nothing I could do about it because them's is the rules there. So one has to play by those rules, I suppose. Do a wheelie, says Tom. Hello, Tom. Is that tractor, Tom? Yes. I've turned off wheelie mode because I don't know how to gauge my um, my starts without wheelieing at the moment. I haven't got enough hours in this game yet. Uh, so I've got another three and a bit minutes until I can uh, check your chat, and I will do. Loser, says Tom. Thanks, old bean. Whoa! I wheelie, I wheel. Oh, fucking hell, Misty. Shit drum and bass again. The soundtrack is not. It's not phenomenal in this game. Yeah, you see me coming to a crawling halt again around the uh, chicane. And there's another chicane coming up, I think. Let's tuck back in. really need to check my phone as well. My phone's upside down. Right, my missus is on her way home. She's actually said, what shall I get for dinner? I should have really answered her. Right, two minutes and I can answer her. Just rush through this, Jamie. Come on, son. What other rules are there in London? Um, fart crash. Crashy McFuck. Wind. Can't really think of any more rules. Right, let's bang the brake on just here. I just, you don't really. Fuck, you know, I, I, this must be a universal one, like a global one, but urinal rules, man. Men's toilets rules. There's all kinds of rules in there. All kinds of rules. You just, they're not written anywhere. You just know them. And there's certain people who fucking break them rules for gents' toilets all the time. And them people, they need sectioning. They need putting in a fucking home or something. Never fucking make eye contact with someone. There's also the number of urinals rules and uh, where one can uh, go for a piss in that stack, dependent on who else is in the urinal, however, how many other people are uh, on the urinal at the, at the time you've gone in for a piss. For example, let's say there's three urinals against the wall and there's four um, toilet stalls as it were okay three urinals four stalls empty all of them right you go in which you just need a piss okay you if, if you're feeling feeling slightly uh, I don't know uncomfortable you could go in one of the stalls but um, if there's three urinals, the first thing you're going to do is pick a urinal. Now, what you probably are going to do, or what you should be doing, is let's call them one, two, and three. Number one is furthest from the door. Number two is in the middle. Number three is closest to the door. You're probably going to pick number one, okay? You're definitely not going to pick number two because it's in the fucking middle. Number two would then cock block or toilet block. Um... You are stating that I am using all three of these. Nobody else is allowed to use them. 
So you're going to use number one. The next person in should theoretically use number three, the closest to the door. The third person in should... Finished. Should then, if he just needs a piss, he should not go to number two. Even though that urinal was empty, he should go and use one of the empty stalls. Okay? That is a rule. <coughs> from that point onwards, it all gets a little bit tedious from that point. But there's three people in there. There's a number of toilet options you shouldn't. Okay? What you should and shouldn't do. Now, one person at my old work... This is the exact layout. Four stalls, three urinals. One person at my old work would go into an empty fucking bathroom and piss in the second urinal. Second fucking urinal. Always. Arsehole. Also, one thing never to do, never go and stand next to another person if there's another urinal. Jesus. So many rules. Right. There you go. 14th I came. Fuck me. It's all them crashes at the beginning. Let's catch up with what you're saying. Um... Dawdling is the worst thing ever. Right, what is that all about? Fucking hell, I've missed a lot. Your face when you crashed. Pissed myself laughing. What is this? Alright, here we go. Right, I'm back at the beginning. Um, pissed myself laughing. Your face when you crashed. Do the bikes come with optional stabilisers? Okay, I, I read that. I went to London once and hated it. I went to London Zoo a few months ago. It's not bad, but I have been to better... It's past the next petrol station. Oh, I missed it. Um, big Euro Spa one after the chicane the top of the road. I will spot it next time. Every time I go to London, I get lost. Dawdling is the worst thing ever. There we go. Mark saying about dawdlers. Us Londoners, it's focused. We, we've got a place to be and we're not going to fuck about. If you're dawdling, you're a fuck. You're an absolute fuck. Get out of the fucking road. Love that. Londoners are the most polite folk in the world if you leave us the fuck alone, thereby avoiding insults, rudeness, potential brick to the head. Yes. Think you are the Scarface of London, Jamie, without all the cocaine and stuff. Um, I worked in London five years. Tourists are the worst. Yes. Yes. Play, paying fucking five quid a pint. What the fuck? Say thank you or I will tut. Exactly. Tut tut. One time I saw John Travolta and all his bodyguards were holding people back. I say you're welcome, out loud. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant. Um, fuck that, I don't say cheers, and I don't ask them to hold a door. I'm a mum, and I approve that message. Manners, manners. There you go. I am perfectly capable of doing it myself. I have uh, launched... I'd have launched the mission. <laughs> okay, do a wheelie. There we go, I'm back. I'm back, I've caught up, right... Um, let people off the train first. Yes. Crashy McFuck. Oh, sorry. Is that what I said? I apologise for my language again. We hold hands with our urinal neighbours up north. I hate when people leave pubes in the urinals. <laughs> Dirty bastards. Urinal rule one. Eyes front. Always eyes front. That I didn't even say that because it wasn't even worth saying. It's that, that ingrained, that rule. The left one, not the middle. Depends how drunk I am. Um, hello Mr. Hewitt uh, who would be the better motorcyclist Stevie Wonder, Pingo or Paul Gascoigne Paul Gascoigne when he's sober I think right so hang on let me just text my missus back because uh, she's asked me some questions about dinner and dinner's important we all need to eat Oh, my mate has finally beaten my WRC time. It's taken him all day. In fact, it's taken him a week. Right. Right, so he's pushed me out of the top 10. In fact, I am joint... El uh, no, I'm 11th now. Fucker. Right, so I'm going to have to beat that time. Um... Okay, Mrs. has been text. Um, right, okay, so that bike handles nicely. I was just showing you the rain and the ultra, ultra, ultra long course. Let's do a shorter course. Let's partake in an actual event. Um, 
and for some reason my tablet is about to die. Oh, it's on 5%, so I'm not really going to be able to keep up with chat. So hopefully Mark can fill in the gaps for me. Let's just have a quick look. My mate is trying to flame me. <laughs> right. So let's back out of this. Let's go to... World Tour. What's my bike? 333 PP. Let's go to invitational events. I might... Oh, this is annoying. It must be the different bikes I have, but... I was able to win I was able to win this first race and I'm not going to be able to do it with my current bike I'll give it a spin anyway, fuck it in fact uh, 333, yeah I don't think Jamie missed his calling, he should do uh, etiquette videos, etiquette videos uh, more than happy to more than happy to I shall teach you how to be an English gentleman. How to make a proper cup of tea by putting the uh, tea bag in first, then pouring the water in, applying sugar if one chooses sugar, and then letting it sit for approximately three minutes, stirring it vigorously, pressing the tea bag against the inside of the cup to drain any additional. What the fuck is this? Hang on. To drain any of the additional tea out of the bag. Confirm. What am I doing here? Uh, before applying milk, if you are indeed to apply milk. You want to use approximately, I'd say, an eighth of a cup of milk to the top of your tea, and then you will have your tea. Pinky sticking out when drinking tea is completely optional, of course. Um, it depends if one is using a bone china mug. All of Jamie's streams are etiquette videos. <laughs> uh, I should really just stop swearing as well, but I kind of let myself down. I say oh, I go for all of the, you know, I'm I'm a perfectly polite person. I hold doors open for people, and I do this and I do that. And then there's me while video gaming, going, "Oh fuck, bollocks, shit, wank." Right, I'm gonna put on the. Um, I'm just gonna turn all this shite on because. I just want to win a bike because at the moment I haven't got enough money to do anything and I just want one new bike uh, that's not this bike. Uh, trajectory at the corners. Don't slurp the tea. Never slurp the tea. Never slurp the tea. Jesus fucking Christ. Biscuits are indeed allowed. If you are drinking tea and you are to supply biscuits, perhaps you have guests, perhaps you don't. Uh, biscuits must always be served on a saucer, okay? Oh, what am I doing? I'm thinking too... Yeah, this bar bike is outclassed massively um, in this challenge. It's a shame. I thought I was going to be able to potentially... Um, potentially go for this bike. See, what happens when you win this race is you win a bike of your choice. And there are two bikes which you can choose from. Um, I chose an absolutely rad as fuck bike uh, on the PC version, which as I told you I've been playing extensively, I haven't been playing this PlayStation version, as one can see. Uh, the handling is exactly the same, but I'm just not taking this seriously, I'm not building up my money, I'm not doing the event competitions and therefore winning money and uh, upgrading my bike and whatnot. I am effectively playing with stock bollocks at the moment. See, there you go. There's more etiquette. Stock bollocks. Jamie says he's been playing with stock bollocks in video games. Why upgrade when you can have stock bollocks? Uh, do you know what? I might be able to come within the top five. And that'll get me a nice little earner. I'm also not... Fucking hell, man. My driving technique has gone to absolute shit during this stream. 
Guys, watch my perfect trajectory video on my uh, on our YouTube channel after this stream. I promise I can play this game well. I am not at the moment though, at all. I'm playing like an absolute fucking horse dick. Yes, I said rad. It's not my fault though. It's not my fault, Luke. I hate that word. There is somebody in this stream whose fault that is. Hold your hand up. Be accountable. Guys. Um, Mark, are you still about on the stream? If so, guys, make some noise in the chat room if you would like to see... Yes, that's correct, Luke. If you would like to see Mark streaming some PSVR this weekend. Personally, I think it would be funny because he won't be able to comment on chat, which he doesn't do much anyway. Wink, wink. I'm just winding you up, Marcus. Um... But it would be good to see. It would be good to see. Tonight I go on holiday tomorrow. I think Misty's against the idea. Oh, I can't see what Misty said now. Right, I've got another text. Who's it from? Oh, no. It's just from my mate. Still going on about his fucking victory. On uh, WRC. I'm really fucked off now. I've held that I've held that victory against him since the game came out and he's just beaten me and he he started texting me about it this morning I'm going to beat you I'm going to beat you bastard Right I'm going to have one more race then I'm going to do one on the stream and that'll be an hour and 45 minutes worth of streaming roughly So let's win a race eh so what what speed is my bike? 333 pp, I think. So we'll go to seasonal events. We're gonna go. Oh, Jesus, biking use is eligible. I haven't done any of the hyper sport, thus why I get this intro. Performance. Performance, nothing. Shut your mouth. 650, 650, 820, 780, 780. See, these are all too powerful for me. Uh, urban style. Oh, here we go. So mine's up to 333. Oh, ha, ha. That's 570. So, really need to get my upgrade on. Uh, street icons. Up to 470, up to 500, 600, 600, 570, 720. Basically, my bike is not powerful enough or too powerful. Pro racing. Right, my bike is not eligible. Shit. Right, we're going to have to go naked bike. My bike's going to get spunked on. Um, Milano. Yeah, my bike's going to get spunked on here. Let's do this. How much have I got? 495, so I can, I can pump it a little bit. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get cylinder head upgrades. Oh, I already... No, how much is that going to cost? 2,500. Right, I can't afford that. 300. I could afford that, which is going to give me some better acceleration, better top speed. Fuck it, I'll do that. Right, that'll do. Let's go. Brake upgrade. 
bike's gonna get swamped on. I nearly choked on my drink. Sorry, old bean. Welcome back, Chris. Okay. I'm actually going to be, um, my wife got me a couple of, um, art prints, including this one. So I'm going to be getting a frame for this. I love this. I'll be getting it framed and I'm probably going to be putting it up behind me. Not with the green wall there, obviously. Um, I'll be at some point folding my green screen back down. So I've got a load of, uh, stuff that needs framing actually and a load of stuff in frames. Right, let's do this. I hope my bike is on semi-level pegging with other bikes. Oh, track markers back on. Right, my bike doesn't appear to be straight line speed. Uh, fuck. My bike doesn't appear to have straight line speed. Look at this, man. They gone. I might as well have a Tesco's trolley. Jesus, this is embarrassing. How's he not catching me? Fuck me. I've had another idea. I've got another idea. It's a better idea. It's going to cost me a bit of money, but I think it's worth it. Uh, mm. But let's see if I can come 15th. Might as well. I've started to I'll finish. What I'll do then, because um, I do plan on streaming this some more. What I'll do, I'll dedicate my time to the PlayStation 4 version, therefore giving myself uh, a lot more money, and uh, I'll open up a few more options and... Uh, I'll have a garage of about 10 bikes by the next time I stream this. Uh, probably... If I play... If I play this for about another three hours, I should be able to get those bikes. So, um, Misty, hold your piss for another 10 minutes and then you can go, mate. I am controlling your bladder right now. How am I still holding on to... He must have the same bike as me, the geezer behind me. Um, yeah, next time I stream this then, if I stream this tomorrow, I'll make sure I've got a shitload better bikes and a lot more fucking money. Come on, you bitch. They've gone. I just... I don't even know how far ahead they are. I'm taking those turns pretty sweet as well. Go on, let's have a laugh. Let's see if I can maintain first place whilst using first person. I'm two seconds off pace. Fucking hell. I'm not going to be able to hold. Look how far ahead they are. Fucking hell. This is so horrible in first person. How am I? Uh. This is terrible. How far ahead are they? I think they're about... I'd say at least 20 seconds at this point. You like that cam view. What what one? Luke, the um, first person. Oh fuck, I actually wanted to ride in this. Oh no, I'm 13 seconds down. 
13. And that's from the guy in front of me. Like, a lot of racing games let you kind of progress um, by partaking in races of equal uh, equal skill set, really. Equal power. Um, this? Nah. -uh. Nah. -uh. We'll just pit you against a load of fucking turbocharged bikes in your... on your rally burner. There's an 80s joke for you. Any 80s kids out there who had a rally burner? I did. Left it outside my friend's house one day. Completely forgot to chain the fucker up. Woke up the next day because I stayed over. Gone. Bye, rally burner. Red. Beautiful thing. Come on. Come on, you sack of horse wank. Urgh. I stole a rally chopper once. <laughs> it was a beast. Oh, look. If anyone to have, who has ever come on one of my streams were to ever open a... Uh, a bit of dialogue with I stole I'd immediately know it was you without even seeing the username I just you just have that air of thieving little pikey fuck um, about you I don't know what it is mate I don't know what it is mate but I'm glad that my, my feelings towards you weren't uh, unjustified <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! There you go, guys. Misty, you may now do a wee wee. But remember to use the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Right, what I'm gonna do before I, um. Before I go, I'm gonna sell this bike. I'm gonna sell it. The reason is, um, is that I want to max out my stock bike, um, and just carry on my career mode that's going to be the easiest way for me to essentially um, make more money um, Anthony hello right let's back out back out back out back out so many menus and my bikes what you got to do this is quite annoying about this you need to select your bike that you want to keep first which is this one and by selecting it then your other one isn't selected so you can go to your other bike this one and you can sell it in fact Just seeing. No, do you know what? I'll keep this one and I'll sell the other one. This one's got more potential. Right, so back to garage and sell. No, dickhead, this one. Alright, so I can't sell that because I received it as a gift. This is my first bike. Okay. Trade it out for a rally burner. Can someone not make like um, a BMX simulator whereby there's 176? Yeah, no, of course not. Right, so I've got 5,800 uh, credits. So let's customize this bike. I might have maxed it already. But that's fine. Uh, I think I might have maxed this. Yes, that's maxed. Uh, 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 that's maxed. 
That's maxed. Top this puppy up with some new oil. I feel ten times lighter. Uh, transmission should be a bit faster. Yep, I've got the top gearbox. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Stock chain. The chain doesn't make any difference on this uh, class, but it does on later classes. And... Yeah, there's pretty much nothing more I can do to this bike. Let's just check my brake and suspension. Yes, I've upgraded that. The brake pads have been upgraded. Uh, um, right, I've maxed this bike out. Maxed it. So that's all I can do. So I'm going to leave the stream here. As you know, I've got that that first gift bike. Um, so the next time I stream this, I plan on, this is my garage here, I'm going to have loads of bikes in there of all different classes, uh, all different powers, and um, yeah, there you go. So, uh, do I like action shooters or racing games the most? I, I don't have preferences. Um, I will play racing games all day long. The reason is because you need to play racing games for prolonged periods of time to get good at them. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. Mark, stream tonight. Mark says Arkham VR. Yes, that will be amazing. Oh dear. Shabby reviews. Going to play Arkham VR, are you? Go on, Mark. Let everyone know what time you'll be streaming. Tell me as well, because I don't seem to get... I don't seem to get um, notifications, even though it's our channel. Come on, Mark. Before I log off let everyone know what time you'll be streaming I'm intrigued now we can all mug Mark off in the chat because he won't be able to see it I'll be there mugging him off I will try but likely about 9pm if I can says Mark there we go Guys, so 9 p.m. this evening, so for those of you in America, it's now 7 p.m., so two hours' time, Mark is going to try and stream some PSVR. I don't know what I'm doing with my fucking baseball bat. So there you go. Need to figure out how to do OBS before I do. Right, so what Mark's stream is going to entail, it's going to have a camera like this, so you can see Mark doing all this crazy shit with the... PSVR thing on his face and you're going to see what he sees in game potentially if he can get it sorted in time. So two hours time. It should only take him about 20 minutes to set it up. Best guess. Um, so guys, join me. I'll be in the chat room um, on this channel in two hours time for a crazy bumbling mark playing uh, PSVR. Alright guys, so thank you very much for joining me on this stream. I'm off to go and don't really know. Still waiting for my dinner to arrive. I'm going to go and do some washing up. I've got a bit of washing up left in the sink because I'm a good boy like that. So love you and see you all later. Shit it, Batman. <laughs>